Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying this market side Italian sausage, Italian style street inspired pizza. Uh, this was $7 at Walmart. Market side's a Walmart brand. This is a limited edition pizza. It has spicy Italian sausage, fresh mozzarella pearls, sauteed onions, green onions, and garlic oil with a cream sauce on a crust. Uh, what you want to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees and we're going to bake it for 13 to 15 minutes. This is how it looks. There's no tape on the box or anything like that. And it uh, it's quite large. <laughs> uh, it does have a piece of cardboard. So uh, what you want to do, it says uh, remove the plastic and cardboard from the pizza. But I'm going to keep the cardboard because I'm assuming when we take it out of the oven, we'll want to put it back on this cardboard to cut it. Because my um, my cutting board isn't that, that wide. The big black one is. Oh, is it? Okay. Um, carefully remove from, oh, okay. Bake for 13 to 15 minutes directly on the center rack. I don't want to lose this. Ah, here we That's go. Kind of yeah, I want to keep that as many of those oh, on there as I can. Okay, so I'm going to bake it a full 15 minutes because we like it uh, uh, really brown. But it says carefully remove from oven and let cool for two to three minutes before slicing. And it says baking times uh, can, can vary. So uh, this will be fun to try to I'll even pick that pick cardboard. It up. No, I'll pick the cardboard up and slide it off. Like this? Of because most people wonder how you're going to do it. So you're going to hold it like this and, and slide, slide it. Slide it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we'll be back. Okay, here is the pizza. It was in the oven for 15 minutes. Honestly, I think it could have stayed a little bit longer even. The hard part, complete honesty, it's hard to get it out of the oven. Yeah, it's um, so big. Because it, it's so, yeah, because it's because of the, the how long it is, it's very hard to get it out of the oven. So, uh, just, um, just know that. And look, this one ended up with... No, nothing. Yeah, look, there's no meat on that one. Yeah. We'll stick a couple. Sauces. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we definitely want a little, well, and this one only has one little piece up here in the corner. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see, what does this crust look like on the bottom? It looks good. So, uh, we're going to pick some up and take it, uh, put it on a plate and give it a try. So this pizza, uh, we bought it uh, back in the back near where they sell like so it's the deli. The deli. That's yeah. that's not the bakery in the front. The deli in the back. Right. That's where ours is. Right. Well, and in the Lexington, it's in the front. Yeah, and it, <laughs> I was gonna say in our local store, it's in the back. But in, in the bigger store in, in the next town over, it's in the front of the store. So I guess that's. But that's where you get them. So this is my first time ever having a take and bake pizza. Um, this is also my first time having a Walmart brand pizza. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've never had one before, never had Walmart. Apparently though, they come with a date on them. Apparently you can take them home and freeze them if you want to. Um, the reason we say that is because it has directions in the back yes, about freezing. Yeah, it says if the pizza is frozen prior to the expiration date, thaw pizza completely under refrigeration overnight. Um, and then bake the pizza according to baking instructions above uh, within, 24. within 24 hours of thawing. So if you take it home, you don't have time to make it then, you can freeze it. And yes. then when you're ready to eat it the next day, take it out that night before, put it in oh, 24 hours, right? Or yeah. The day before. Yeah, the day before. Um, yeah. yeah, and let it thaw out in the refrigerator and then heat it up that day. So. But I'm wondering, well, first of all, I'm wondering why don't these come frozen? So why are these... They're taking me. I know, but but if <laughs> if you can freeze them, why don't they offer some in the frozen department? Yeah, I don't know. Like, why not have them back there in the back and have them frozen too? And I wonder why would people buy these over buying just a frozen pizza when they take the same amount of time? So it took just as long to bake this from thawed as it does a frozen pizza. So why would you? Maybe the quality of the crust and stuff. I don't know, I don't know. I can tell you the crust feels very, um, like almost pastry, like flaky on the back. Okay. Like the back crust, it's yeah. not the same. It does, yeah, it doesn't feel um, crispy. Mm. I got a piece of that sausage, that sausage is good. Mm-hmm. Now this piece, I got one with without a lot of sausage, so this one only had that one piece, but I did that on purpose. 
Um, that sausage is awesome. Mm -hmm. Good hoggy. I like the um, the onions too. The onions have that grilled onion flavor, like like you put them in a pan of butter and, and brown them and sauteed them. They're very very good. This is absolutely terrific. Mm -hmm. It's like, what do you think about the crust? Did you try try the crust in the back? It's really like a layered flaky, like a croissant or something. It's very very good. Now I know why people buy these. It's very good. I mean. The flavors on this, the cheese, um, the cheese is actually like, like I've made this, like I did this at home, mm -hmm. uh, and the, the garlic and that sausage and, and I do, I didn't think I would like that crust because it's not crispy like I'm it's used to. It's a soft crust. It's soft, but I do like mm, it. It's very, very good. Uh, and if you left it in the oven um, a little bit longer, it would have crisped up a little bit more, even got a little crisper, but um, I don't think you'd want it really crispy because mm -hmm. it is like a pastry, mm -hmm. like a croissant, like a flaky crust, uh, uh, pastry crust. That's it's really fantastic. Good. Yeah. What I do you do. think about the onions? Do you like the onions? I love the onion. Yeah, the onions, I love onions are my, like the sausage is my favorite with the onions. And the <laughs> onion is, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't even talk about the calories because I was so excited. Um, <laughs> A fifth of the pizza is 490 calories. Yeah, so the pieces we got are a little smaller, but... Um, this is like my new favorite pizza now. Yeah, I wish they had more sausage on it, or I maybe they you. took the big pieces, like, like that's a huge you piece. You could cut it in half. They could, they could split those up a little bit more, maybe a little bit smaller, like more of this size, but um, that's my only, mm -hmm. literally my only complaint is I wish they'd give you a little bit more sausage spread out. Mm-hmm. You can always make sure you spread it out before you put it in the oven too to make sure it's evenly distributed. We, mm -hmm. we do that with frozen pizzas. Yeah, this is how I really eat pizza. So this is, yeah, you wouldn't want to take me out on a date because I, I can eat. She's a cheap date. Um, I love this stuff. This yeah, is like very, very awesome. Good. Like our favorite pizza was Screaming Sicilian. But then once we tried Motor City, Screaming Sicilian made a lot of changes. It still would be my have been my number two choice. Right. So, Motor City became number one. Scream to see it became my number two. This I love. I can The only bad thing is, is this is limited edition. Why? Well, they got plenty of other ones that aren't limited edition. No, but do they have that same sausage? <laughs> that same know. Italian sausage. I'm telling you, they got pizzas that are like. This big around. Well, guess They're what? huge. Well, and then they have, we're gonna have to medium them. pizzas that are smaller, but the regular pizzas over there are massive round pizzas. We're gonna I mean, have to try. You talk about fighting to get some out of your oven. Can you imagine getting a round pizza out of your no. oven? No. It'd be tough. I love how buttery and flaky that's that what is. I'm saying. It's like a croissant or something. It's it awesome. is absolutely yeah. phenomenal. Um I have had somebody that's been requested for a long time. Um we try the Aldi brand. Try the Aldi brand. And we may try that now that you know what they're like. I never knew. I never, never knew what I was missing. See, we should try that restaurant in Lexington now, not not comparing it to this, but there's a, a pizza place in Lexington where you take it back. They Is make, that how you do it? Yeah. yeah. You take it home? Mm -hmm, it's a take and bake pizza place. I think they will cook them for you, but their main thing is they, they make them and you take them home with you. Oh, I thought they made them right there because people you eat can. there. You can. You can get them both ways. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you can take them home with you and bake them as well. It, no no question. If, you've, if you're if you like me, uh, is, is this your first one too? Yeah, I've never had one. Uh, okay. So a first for both of us in, 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 in all these years. If you've never bought one of these taken back pizzas, you you just have to do yeah, it now because good. there's no comparison this between a frozen. No, I'm just blown away. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.